We're going to do $30 off in-stock gun, in stock guns. Uh, we're doing $89 concealed carry classes. That's a great price, Which by the is way. a great price. Does that, that includes everything, doesn't it? It includes your range time, your class time, your targets. Uh, you're responsible for 70 rounds of ammunition and your two pistols. Brad, t- tell us about that uh, concealed carry class. Uh, as we were setting up, um, you know, we walked past the classroom, and then we go into your, uh, your storefront area where you have all of your, your um, firearms and your display cases and your gondolas filled with merchandise. Then you go right into the, into the range. So everything is right here? Everything is right here, and it's, it's for convenience. And it is convenient to it, be able to take the class and check out with the shooting at the same location. I, I agree, don't you think? I, I think that's awesome. When are the classes? What uh, choices do people have to come out here and take concealed carry classes? Uh, we hold a concealed carry class every Saturday. Uh, with the exception of the first Saturday of the month is a basic pistol. But every other Saturday for the rest of the month is a concealed carry class. Uh, it's an all-day course. It starts at 9 in the morning, uh, runs till uh, about 6 o'clock. <laughs> it's hard to talk with all the guns going on sometimes. <laughs> I've met your instructor. Um, tell me his name. Now, he's a retired Marine. He is. And he's an amazing guy. Talk a little bit about he him. He is. He's, he's, a, he's a great guy. Uh, being a retire, retired Marine drill sergeant, I worried he'd have people running laps at lunchtime, <laughs> but he's actually a teddy bear. He's really funny, too. Uh, makes the class really entertaining, and uh, he's a great teacher. NRA, he's NRA certified and just about everything you can get. Well, I think uh, NRA certification is fantastic. Benny, you and I are NRA certified safety range officers, and we have a a lot of respect and admiration for NRA certified trainers because they are really the best in the business. They are. And uh, we've been in that classroom, haven't we, Mark? We have. We most certainly have. Yeah. What, this is a really... <laughs> I saw so much fun. Tell the audience who just walked in the uh, door. It, it looks like Mrs. Finelli just walked in the door. And uh, I don't know how to say this. Mrs. Finelli, could you just lift up your shirt just a little bit on that side there? Is that a, is that a hold holster? Hold on here. No, I want to be hold careful, on here. Be careful how you say that. There, there's guys that they just snap their neck to look look around. Brad about fell out of the chair when you said that. I said just a little bit. I didn't say. What, what does she have I, on over there? I, it looks to me like a um, a Colt 38. Detective special, a Colt 38 detective special. Yeah, I, I think that's that's part of her uniform. I know she wears it all, all around the farm, Mark. Well, yeah, there it is. There <laughs> it is. She's, she's modeling. She stuck the hip out and gave us a full view, the full money almost there. Well, I tell you, that's uh, that's one lady I don't think I'd want to mess around with. You guys do a little shooting out there on the ranch, don't you? Yeah, we do. Uh, we have um, we have a pretty pretty long range. Well, I think you need to quit shooting out there and, and get over here and oh, shoot a little bit more in Ozark, Missouri. I've been here many times, Mark. You know, I think, Brad, and you'll have to correct me on this, I, I've been to a lot of gun ranges. I'm originally from Texas, and a lot of gun ranges down there, indoor and outdoor. We got we got a lot of outdoor ranges in Missouri. we got a lot in this area. But I don't think I've ever been to this nice of a gun range in the United States. Why this design? Uh, that's a great question, and uh, we actually visited almost every indoor range in Texas. Oh, you did? So uh, they're all popping in my head right now. Uh, but uh, uh, <clears throat> we, we, we did a lot of research. We, we visited almost 50 ranges, indoor ranges, in 14 states. And, uh, and when we went in, we asked all the owners and managers uh, questions, and, and they were all very receptive and very open and, and proud of what they'd done and accomplished. So... We uh, we went a long way fast learning what not to do from them, uh, what worked, what didn't work, uh, what they wish they'd have done. That's the first question there I always That's ask. That's a great I, question. I walk in and I, I what do you wish you'd have done different? You know, yeah. and that's the can of worms right there. We just start writing it down. And uh, but I, I literally would stop people in the parking lot to get opinions and and, and ideas, and uh, that lasted for about a year. But that's the that's what you see here is is the end result of that journey. And all those, all the input from all the range owners and operators that helped us out. So, well, when you walk through the front door of this facility, this lobby is gorgeous. I mean, the the texture, the brick, uh, all of the uh, the stuffed animals on the wall, the you know, and and all the product and the merchandise here. This yeah. is like this is almost like a museum. It's gorgeous. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It is. It is most certainly beautiful. Yeah. Well, we are very grateful to be out here today. Uh, we're this is. USA prepares the radio program. 
I'm Mark Wright. I'm here with the original survival economist, Vincent Finelli. We're here with Brad, and I think we're going to take our bottom of the hour break, and then when we come back on the other side, I think we want to learn a little bit more about what's going to happen this weekend. You, you know, this is Independence Day weekend, mm-hmm. and I can't think of a better place to celebrate it than Sound of Freedom Indoor Gun Range. Every American ought to shoot a gun over Independence Day Absolutely. weekend. Absolutely, and that's why we're here, Mark. That's why we're here. Okay, we'll be right back after this brief bottom-of-the-hour break. 11. Please return to your seats. Class is now in session at usaprepares.com. Interact now by emailing instructor at usaprepares.com or text 417-200-4715. And now, Vincent Finelli and Mark Wright. And this is USA Prepares, the radio program on KWTO 560 AM. We are live at Sound of Freedom Indoor Gun Range in Ozark, Missouri. And we want to invite you, our class, out here to the gun range today. Uh, Right afterwards, we're going to have drawings, we're going to have prizes, we're going to have food, refreshments. You can get in a drawing for a gun. Like the one you're wearing. The the one I'm wearing, drawing (laughs) for shirts. And so this is a, a great time. So if you're driving around, especially around the Ozark area, there's no excuse not to come. There's a lot of value in joining us today on the air. There is. Mark, just look to your right. What do you see? I see a, a lot of guns. A lot of guns. Hats, then, ammo. <laughs> More guns. More I, guns. I, I, there are so guns. many guns. I believe that right in front of us is the largest selection of firearms for rental within 100 miles. Is that, is that right, Brad? Well, it's, it's, if it's not, it's close. <laughs> you have to go a long ways. Kansas City... St. Louis, Osage Beach might have uh, some rentals in their gun range, but Little Rock, uh, Tulsa might. Uh, we know Oklahoma City does, but it, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's uh, something new for around here. I, I think the benefit of this, especially if you're a novice, Vince and Brad, is come out, try these different guns, see what you like before you go out and buy one. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to do that, which you really can't find at at hardly any other gun ranges, and if you can rent one, you can only rent usually a 22 caliber. You have all types of calibers out here, and I think that's a big plus. More than that, Mark, if you rent a caliber, you can rent, with that rental, you can try every, every firearm within that caliber. So if you rent one 22 pistol, you can try all of them, like every 10 minutes. Sure. How do you beat that? You can't. You can't. That's right, you can't. And, and you, Tell us more, Brad. I hate to interrupt, but I do get excited about it. It's something that I'm pretty <laughs> proud of. Uh, I wanted someone to know what it was going to cost them getting up off the couch to come and do this, you know, instead of adding up imaginary numbers of what they might think it is. So we came up with one price for each caliber because you literally do rent the entire caliber of, of, of guns that we have in that caliber. So you pick one, you take it out, you try it, you shoot it, and you bring it back and trade it in for something else in the same caliber. Uh, so it's like Christmas every 10 minutes, I, I say, <laughs> a lot. So Great, great descriptor. When, uh, when we shoot, uh, before, before the range was open, we'd shoot on the farm. What we would do is we'd bring several handguns, and they would all be different, and each one of us would want to try the other ones. So you'd start with one, and, and uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, you'd, you'd grab a, a revolver, and then you'd go to the semi-automatic. And, and, but you had to own them before that. Now you can try them and figure out which ones you really like, and then you can buy them. That's, that's just an awesome, awesome concept. Well, and you have all the ammo for the different calibers. I mean, don't go out and buy your ammo. You know, try the gun out, and you guys sell the ammo as well. You don't rent it, do you? Well, we, you, have to, you have to use our ammunition, our ammunition and, and our rental guns. But uh, that the price includes their first box of ammo, uh, 50 rounds for everything, uh, 100 rounds for the 22 caliber. So, so, Brad, let me see if I've got this right. So what would it cost me to rent a 22 caliber handgun? Uh, our non-member price is thirty-one dollars and forty-seven cents plus tax. Mm-hmm. That gets your first hundred rounds of ammo. Mm-hmm. And uh, looking down the list here, it's getting longer and longer. 
uh, got to be at least a dozen or more handguns to choose from. And then we've even got the AR style uh, 22, which is a yeah. lot of fun to That's shoot. That's very fun yeah. to shoot. You can shoot that all day long. Yeah. And, and then for for somewhere around twenty three dollars, you could buy uh, a whole carton of uh, twenty two yep. ammunition. That's correct. Five hundred fifty rounds. Is that right? That's correct. Okay. Yes. So for boy, very little money, you could spend the whole day here. You could. You could. Uh, and we don't have a time limit. Uh, <laughs> We'll limit anybody to an hour if we reach a, wa- a waiting list, but that's usually on, only on Saturday. So you can shoot all day for that price, you know. And uh, you mentioned mem- non-membership. What about what are your membership prices and classes? And um, and, and then what would the prices be if you had a, a membership on something like that? Well, uh, our memberships uh, start out at two hundred and fifty dollars a year. So um, with that, you get some privileges. You get to shoot for free, you know, no limit, no charge. Uh, and we do give you some discounts. We give you 5% off ammo, 10% off gun rental classes and targets. So that would bring the gun rental down to uh, $15.03 to rent the 22s. And we're giving you 100 rounds to start with. So that is great value. It really is. I don't see how you can go wrong with that. Mark, there are over 30 people here. Uh, I just I just did a quick count looking around while... Uh, you should see us. You should see us on a Saturday afternoon. <laughs> I think they're going to be. You you may have a waiting list for tomorrow, and you're open on Sunday and Monday. We're open seven days a week, uh, nine in the morning till eight p.m., uh, and then on Sunday we're open ten to six. So, Brad, tell us about your competitions. That's really kind of a neat thing that you guys offer. Yeah, it is, and I have to admit that a year ago uh, I shot on the farm, and mm-hmm. that was. That was about it. We'd compete against each other right? Uh, with whatever was laying around. But when it comes to uh, uh, the real stuff, the real shooting competitions, it blew me away to see how much there was going on out there. Uh, from from the NRA conventional to the NRA action to IPSC and USPSA and the, and all this all these things. So I've gone through a – I've learned a lot in the, in the last year, but we, we've, we've committed to doing a bullseye shoot every Thursday. Mm-hmm. It's an NRA bullseye shoot, 60 rounds. Uh and then on Mondays we're doing uh, some some defensive action type pistol stuff. Wow! And then we've got a league that's that's on post. It's off for the summer, but it'll the league will start back up again this fall. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of competition going on around around here, and it it, it amazed me to see it uh, and see how much there really was going on. So. Now you had mentioned to me, I believe once before, there's some type of three gun competition. Explain that to me. I thought that was fascinating. Well. Uh, <laughs> Like I just stated, I've got a lot to learn. We've got a cowboy action shooter that actually works here. His name's Kent, and, he, and uh, I think the NRA's got a three-gun, but the cowboy action guys do a three-gun. Can you help me out here? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they I, I just I had heard here. you mention it once yeah. before, and I thought it was fun, so we, we can talk more about that next time we come out. How about men versus women? You know, as I look around... It, the women it, win. They're better. Yeah, are they? they yeah. usually are. Yeah. Mark, I see about... One third young people here, and I mean young teenagers. One third women and one third men. Well, our ratios—we're really proud of it. Uh, we're we're getting close to 700 members now, uh-huh. and uh, just almost half of them are women. Wow! Uh, a lot of people join as a couple. Uh, we, you can add that extra person for 125 dollars and become a couple's member. You have a couple's membership, so a lot of women. And you were stating how most indoor gun ranges are they're dark and and uh, maybe a little uninviting. Uh, and we're not. We we you know we are inviting. You know, uh, you should. Our bathrooms have granite countertops for crying out loud. So <laughs> women love it. As nice as one of them Branson. What's it? Uh, Shoji Tabuchi down there with the the big nice restrooms or the porcelain. That's what this whole place looks like here. I'm serious. Ladies, if you're out there driving around and you've never been to an indoor gun range, it's not what you think. I promise you. It's like walking into a mall. And if you like to shop, man, the eye candy here is fantastic, Vincent. It, absolutely. And and it is spotless. There's not a fingerprint on the glass, not on the glass doors. I mean, it's unbelievable. I like it. I do, too. First First quality. Can you tell us, uh, Brad, about your membership prices? Would you like to talk about that? Well, it's pretty simple. Uh, the individual, like I said, starts out at two fifty a year. Okay, two fifty a year. Uh, you can add that extra person and become a couple's membership right. for uh, 
three seventy five. Right. And then our family membership is uh, 